Things were strange in ancient Rome. Cicero, the great Roman philosopher who lived in the first century BC, wrote, Piety, reverence for the gods and wise confidence that everything is guided and governed by the will of the gods, we, the Romans, surpassed all tribes and peoples. Maybe, of course, and surpassed, but did not invent their own gods. The Romans almost completely adopted the Greek gods, they just gave them other names. Their images, colors and symbols remained almost the same. And if you are well versed in the ancient Greek pantheon, then you will not have any difficulty in understanding the ancient Roman. To study the ancient Roman gods, consider a fresco by the great Raphael, painted in 1518. Raphael painted this ceiling fresco for the Villa Farnesina, located in Rome. It is now a museum that can be visited by anyone. On the first floor is the Lodger of Psyche, on the ceiling of which is a magnificent fresco by the great Raphael. It is called, the Council of the Gods, and it just represents the ancient Roman gods. 1. Psyche. Psyche is a beautiful girl with whom Cupid has fallen in love. She is not part of the Council of the Gods. But Raphael placed her on the fresco as a mistress. 2. Mercury. The patron god of commerce, profit, and enrichment. His attributes include a rod of caduceus and a winged helmet. He also has sandals with wings and a money pouch. But Raphael decided not to depict them. 3. Janus. Revered as the deity of all beginnings, doors, entrances and exits. Janus is an ancient Roman god. The Greeks didn't have one. He's two-faced. So it's easy and simple to recognize him by his double face. He also often has keys and a staff in his hands. 4. Vulcan. God of destructive and purifying fire patron of blacksmiths and foundrymen. He is also the unhappy husband of the beautiful Venus. In Raphael's painting he is depicted with pliers on his shoulder. Can also be depicted with a hammer. 5. Heracles. Only a demigod. Son of Jupiter and a mortal. But for special merits was admitted to Olympus. His attribute is his famous mace. He can also be depicted with a lion skin on his shoulders. 6. Bacchus. God of winemaking and fun, orgies, religious ecstasy. He is always cheerful. On his head is a wreath of grape leaves. 7. Apollo. God of light, patron of the arts, leader and patron of the muses, predictor of the future, healer god, patron of immigrants. Handsome. In his hands he usually has a lyre. Often on his head is a laurel wreath. 8. Mars. God of war. Always dressed in armor and helmet. In his hands he carries weapons. 9. Venus. Goddess of love. The most beautiful goddess. Therefore, did not hesitate to appear nude. 10. Pluto. The god of the underworld, who took care of the dead. He inspired all people with overwhelming terror, as he appeared on the surface of the earth only to choose another victim and drag her to his gloomy dwelling. Often depicted with a double tooth or in a helmet made of dog skin, given to him by the Cyclops, which makes him invisible. 11. Neptune. God of the sea, he rules all the waters and rides the waves on white horses, so he is also the god of these animals. An indispensable attribute in his hands is a trident. 12. Cupid. God of love, personification of love attraction, ensuring the continuation of life on earth. Son of Venus and Mars, he is the god of love desires and always walks with a bow and arrow. 13. Jupiter, the chief god of Olympus, keeps his foot on the globe, showing that everything is subject to him. As an attribute he has an eagle, he and in Raphael's painting next to him. 14. Diana, goddess of flora and fauna, hunting, femininity and fertility, childbirth attendant. Eternal Virgin, sister of Apollo. On her head is the sign of the moon, because Diana personified the moon. Often depicted surrounded by dogs. 15. Minerva, goddess of wisdom, for she was born from the head of Jupiter, and, at the same time, the goddess of war. Therefore, and dressed in armor and with weapons in her hands. 16. 
Juno, goddess of marriage and motherhood. Wife of Jupiter, whose love affairs brought her into a rage. Mandatory attribute, peacock. The loose tail of which is full of eyes. They help to keep an eye on the unfaithful husband. In Raphael's painting, two more male figures, personifying the rivers Nile and Tigris, and next to them the Sphinx. These characters do not belong to the Olympian gods. Why the artist added them to the fresco is unclear, 